Here's a typical problem. You look directly overhead and you see a plane exactly one kilometer above the ground. It's traveling Mach 2. How far will the plane travel down the road before you hear the sonic baboon? Well, there's a plane one kilometer above your head. It has this mock comb that is trailing behind it. You do not hear the, the plane at this point. You hear nothing. Until the plane gets far enough down the road for that mock comb to catch up with you, and then you hear the baboon. And what we want to know is, how far is it? What is X? Now folks, it's tempting to take the easy way out. It's tempting to say, the plane's going twice the speed of sound, Greg. If sound could get to me one kilometer away, and the plane's traveling twice, twice as fast as the sound, then the plane must have gone two kilometers. Ah, end of story. Bada beat. What's wrong with that solution is that at no time did I use this equation. That solution that I just gave you is a student one solution. It is worth zero points. And the reason it's flawed is that the sound that you hear first from the sonic boom doesn't come from the plane when it's there. It comes from the plane when it was back there at 90 degrees to the cone. And that's the flaw in the reasoning that will trip you up if you try to take the easy way out. Here's the correct way to solve the problem. The first thing you do is look for that mock cone angle, or half cone angle, if you will. Now, I'm told that the, the plane is traveling Mach 2. So that means 1 over the Mach number is 1 half. Okay? Does anyone know the angle whose sine is equal to a half? 30 degrees. 30 degrees. 30 degrees. <laughs> Folks, do you watch the, the Big Bang Theory? That is a show for geeks. That is truly a show for geeks. One of my favorite parts is when Penny gets all this furniture delivered, and Leonard and Sheldon have to get it up the stairs. And Leonard says, well, this can't be so ha hard. The, the stairs are about 30 degrees, and the sign of 30 degrees is about a half. And Sheldon just looks all disdainful and just, the sign of 30 degrees is exactly one half. <laughs> and I bust out laughing, and every one of my family is looking at me like I'm a loon. I mean, it's just, what? That's humor, folks. That's humor. <laughs> the sine of 30 degrees is exactly one half. It's not about a half. Exactly one half. Okay. Now, that means that Mach cone angle is 30 degrees. If I know that angle, I can figure out the geometry. I'm trying to compare the opposite side to the adjacent side. That cries out that I should use the tangent. <clears throat> The tangent of 30 degrees is equal to this side that I know divided by that side that I want to know. At this point, it's just math. I solve for x. And I get a number that is not, I repeat, is not 2 kilometers. It's 1.7 kilometers. OK? Check that your neighbor will be able to solve a problem like that on the exam. <coughs> Okay, I'm moving, moving to a new topic. So if you have questions about mock phones, ask them now. Okay, I've got a question. You're, you're in the cockpit of a plane going Mach 3. You turn to your co-pilot and you talk. What does the co-pilot the co hear? He hears it normal. I'm just messing with your head. <laughs> the air in the cockpit's not moving. It's fine. 